Hello friends, hi. So I guess this is how I'm gonna begin my Quebec vlogs. Um, usually with vlogs like this, I start on the day of my flight, but um, I'm gonna start a couple of days before because then I can kind of let you guys know the very basic and probably boring process of how I prepare. It's nothing fun, but you know, I just wanted to kind of start off this vlog a few days before and just kind of have some more content to share with you guys. So I'm gonna be flying to Quebec to record two music videos with a band named Aeternum. I'm gonna be featured in both music videos um, as the lead character. Um, and the main one, it's gonna be the more... Um, first, I thought we we're gonna do one music video and then they were like, hey, you, you belly dance, let's do two. I was like, ah oh, yeah, I, we can totally do two. So I dug up some costumes that I haven't used for years and I'm super excited to wear them and to shoot two and not just one video. So I'm gonna be flying out to Quebec. Um, and before I say more, I have never been to another place. I've never flown to another place within Canada. So this is really exciting. I've never been anywhere other than Vancouver in Canada. Um, and yeah, which is a shame because I've been living here like more of, most of my life I've been here but I've been mostly going to Europe and to the US for projects and collabs so it's gonna be exciting doing something with a fellow Canadians, you know, it's super exciting um, but they are an amazing band that I actually found out about and saw live for the first time the same night that I was performing with Orphan Land this very last time that I performed with them they were amazing me and my mom were um, on kind of like the balcony part of the um, the venue and I was kind of warming up I had my belly dance costume on I was shimmying and my mom was live um, on her Instagram Insta stories or the yeah, Instagram and um, I was just kind of stretching and listening to them and they were amazing you know um, and I found a lot of amazing bands opening for other bands um, and they were just everything I ever needed in my life basically they're very heavy with middle eastern influences and just just the right amount of everything even my mom loved them so much and i remember that night my mom bought a patch from their band from their booth and she's had it on her um on her uh my parents bike like motorcycle bike and um she has her uh backpack and that's the only patch on it so it's very exciting and yeah, so very excited. I'm gonna be featured in not one, but two music videos for this band. Um, the first one is gonna be more um, of a storytelling kind of, I'm gonna be like a demon, possessed. It's a, it's a whole thing, I'm not gonna go into it. You'll see, you'll see when you see it. And the second one is gonna be me featured as a belly dancer in parts of the video. So it's gonna be, it's a more, um, it's a softer song, it's beautiful. I've been listening to it nonstop and I can't wait. So I dug up some costumes I haven't worn for a long time and I'm excited to wear them again. Yeah, so I just thought about, you know, starting my vlog a few days before I have to fly so that you guys, you know, get to kind of experience it with me. We can go through this whole thing together. And uh, this time I'm not losing my passport. I love how many of you message me like, don't lose your passport. Make sure you got your passport this time. I have my passport, it's in a very safe place, it's very like in front of my face, easy to see. I check on it every day, make sure it doesn't disappear on me like last time. Um, did I tell you guys what happened last? Okay, so the last time that I lost my passport was the only time, and it will be knock on with the only time I will ever lose it. Um, I was flying to Mexico to record my music video for our band, Aketh. So it was a huge deal, we planned for this for months. And the night comes, everybody leaves except me, and I have to get an emergency passport, and it's it's a shit show. The woman at the passport office was an absolute bitch. The woman at the passport office was just the worst. She was so rude and just so, such a bully. Like, you know, I'm already going through so much, I don't need you to, you know, I'm paying you. Like, we're, we're paying you like hundreds of dollars. Shut up and do your job. But, um, yeah, it was that, and it was really bad. Once. I was there, my mom came, and because she was worried, she's like, what if your passport got stolen, you know, uh, you want to be safe. So she came over to my home, me and Sal were, uh, at that point, both in Mexico, my cats are fighting, um, and she moved all of the, like, she took out all of the um, drawers of all of the everything, all the drawers in the house, just to check the back of them. For some reason, she thought it would be, like, 
in the back and it was um the passport was in one of my bags one of my travel bags kind of ready to go but the travel bag got pushed into the I usually put them on the top of the closet where it's just kind of out there and it got kind of pushed to the back and the passport fell out of the bag into the back of the closet so you had to remove either move the closet or remove the um drawers and kind of dig for it so thankfully we found it at that point it was um expired it was uh reported as missing so we just put a bunch of holes in it so i don't accidentally use it by mistake um <laughs> but it exists sorry my cats are running after each other but yeah it's there it's fine it's good it's invalid but nobody else stole it so it was just me and um, the new passport is a sketchy passport they give to people that they don't trust so it's only valid for two years and when i have to apply for a new one i have to not i can't reapply for a renewal i have to apply all over again i still have to buy a few things to take with me um there there are a few things i need still to to make my my trip a little smoother um the main thing i need a new carry-on luggage and the reason is I destroy mine all the time. I've bought so many nice ones and usually I take it a few times on actual trips, you know, you take it to the airport, um, which is totally fine. And then I take those very nice carry-ons and I drag them to the forest, you know, ruining the wheel and everything and eventually I have to get a new one. So I was thinking, I was thinking, I'm gonna buy one that's super, super cheap and like shitty quality and i'm gonna use that one just for when i shoot when i when i have to take it to the forest and when i have to take it on the street you know where the ground is very gritty and it tends to ruin the wheel and then i'm gonna buy a really nice one that i will only only use when i have to travel um because i just keep doing this all the time i buy really nice ones and after like you know three trips and 20 shoots it's like <clears throat> i can't even use it anymore so yeah, I need to find a new carry-on luggage because I have a lot of shit that I have to carry with me. Um, I have to take a crown by Precious Remains. They want to feature it in the video. Um, it's a beautiful like satanic horn. Um, they wanted me to bring it just to see how it how it looks and um, hopefully we get to use it because it's one of my favorite props to use. I've, I've shot with it so many times and um, if I can use it in a music video, even better. Um, I'm gonna be... Uh, so for the Akif music video for Let Me Feel the Pain, I wore Vulgaria Evil designs, um, which is this beautiful dress that has cuts in the right places. Dear God, it's so sexy. And um, so she sent me a bunch of her new designs um, and we needed, we desperately needed a pure red dress. And it just happened to work that she has a design that is a beautiful, just red, red dress um, with her signature cut design i don't know what to call it but it's just so perfect and so i'm gonna be wearing two of her dresses for the eternum music eternum music video <laughs> and um, one of them is gonna be a black one uh probably not the same one that i wore in Ak the akath music video or if it is i'm gonna style it a little bit differently and the other um, dress is gonna be a red version of that dress kind of different um than that but similar in, in style and feel um I shot with that red dress a couple of days ago, actually. Um, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for the first time to feature that video to be in a music video, possibly posted in a few months. I had to shoot with it. So I did a photo shoot with that dress. So you guys already know the dress, basically. Um, and the band has been so amazing. They're letting me put in my creative kind of um, flavor to it and they've been so open to my ideas and to my styling choices and so I'm very proud of it I'm, I'm already very proud of this project because I'm gonna be able to put a lot of myself into this I've only had really great experiences uh, collaborating with different artists for music videos um, the six chamber same thing I had you know full creative control over um, my image or what I did basically um, I'm totally open to not having any creative control, but it's so nice to have creative control because like I myself, that's what I do every day. I'm a creator as well. Like I'm not just an actor or I'm not an actor, but you know, I'm not just like this thing that you put clothing on that just is out there. Like I actually have my own style and ideas and 
all that stuff. So it's super cool that um, right off the bat, they were just so open to me having my ideas and having some recommendations for, you know, what I think looks demonic as hell for my character. Uh, I'm just rambling, but I just absolutely love this collaboration already. We've been talking about it for months, um, and it's just so exciting. Now it's almost happening. It's like in a few days I'll be flying to them. The flight is going to be pretty long. Um, it's, yeah, it's going to be a very long flight. That's the only thing I'm not looking forward to, is just being in an airplane for that long of a time. But thankfully I have my Switch, and um, I've got my journal. I've started writing again, like a couple of months ago I began writing like like crazy and it's been really helpful because i have so many thoughts and like ideas and just things that i need to write down somewhere not to forget like these random like beautiful words come to me you know and i want to use it for a photo shoot and i just write it down and it's been really helpful um so i have things to keep me busy you know so but still i hate flying it's like my least favorite thing to do is just to sit in one spot next to like a bunch of people and um yeah it's not the i also hate airports i really do hate airports like i just <sighs> at least i'm not gonna go through like major security i'm gonna be within canada that's really nice because usually when i go through like that it's just so many questions and i i feel like am i a danger to the country like am i though like they ask me so many questions like the dumbest thing you're a canadian citizen yeah how did you obtain your citizenship what do you say? I applied for it? Like, I applied for it and I got it? Or my parents applied for it? What am I supposed to say to that? And I answered, I was like, um, I applied for it. And he's like, how? I'm like, with a pen and paper, what do you mean how? Um, so it's a little bit weird having to go through that. And um, usually when I come back from international flights, I always get inter in interrogated. <laughs> I always get interrogated. Like, what are you bringing back? What's in your life? Why do you have so many luggages? I was like, I'm a girl. I can't decide what to wear. So I take my whole fucking like closet. Chill, bro. But yeah, it's it's really, I hate it. I just hate the whole process of going to the airport and flying and security and dumping all my shit. Yeah. Not to be all boohoo, but the fact that I am Middle Eastern, you know? Um, and that terrifies them, I guess, because I just look so threatening and terrifying and yeah. So Lucifer, why? That's my favorite lamp. I think you just broke my favorite lamp, bro. Oh, she's a girl. Sorry. Today, I'm gonna, okay, this is, this was not meant to be a part of the video, but let's be real. We're putting it in. Today I'm going to be doing my yearly lip filler, <laughs> so if you see me in this video and I'm bloated, worry not, it goes down in like three days, and um, yeah, I do it once a year, as you guys can see. This is not what my lips look like in the beginning, let's be real, people. Um, I get them done once a year, and I use something called Juvederm, which is like hyaluronic acid i guess i don't know but um i've been doing it for a while now i first tried doing a bunch of like um what is it things you put on your lips that are, they're very spicy and they just don't do anything like for a minute your lips are like huge and then it hurts too much and you have to wash it off so i tried a lot of things to make it look a little bit more plump um i like how it looks that way um and yeah it didn't really work so i just gave up and decided to get myself injected with things um the first day is usually the worst and um yeah so i've been doing my lips for a couple of years now i think and yeah i've been really really liking getting them done um i want to make them a little bit different i kind of want to not really touch the top because i think my top lip is fine um, I really kind of want to focus more on the bottom of the lip and make it a little bit more like, you know, like a little bit more round. Um, in the beginning, um, we kind of experimented a little bit with the filler, putting it in different areas and kind of playing with the shape a little bit. And um, I had smaller lips. I like my lips to begin with, to be honest, and I still think that smaller lips look a lot younger like if they make you look more innocent and a lot younger but we're not trying to look innocent and young we're trying to look like you know satan as a woman um but yeah so 
I'm gonna do a little bit different this time. I'm gonna put um, just the tiniest bit on top and a little bit on the bottom and then that's it. Yeah, it's not gonna be that much. And the other really good thing is after um, I did it for a couple years, I didn't have to do it as often and as much in quantity as I did in the beginning. Um, in the beginning, I was doing it like once every eight months and then it kind of moved to nine months and then I tried 11 months and then I went for a year and it was like a year is a bit much. But a year is like a good time now, but it's still bigger than it's ever been and it's been a year. And um, so I think I'm going to put probably the smallest amount I can this time because I don't want to make it look like you know like latex doll thing which is you know if that's your thing but i like it to be not as crazy looking but that's about it so if you see me in the other portion of the video looking all bloated and bruised don't worry nobody punched me in the face i just paid somebody a lot of money to inject my face with things that's it yeah later hello friends so um <clears throat> two days ago i did the fillers and it's a little bit it's a little bit swollen right now um it usually takes about a week for everything to settle down so i'm a little bit bruised and a little bit swollen but thankfully it doesn't hurt it just hurts the first night and um yeah so i'm gonna be thankfully i'll be wearing lipstick for the video and um it doesn't look that bad it looked a lot worse just yesterday I've got scratches everywhere, thanks to Lu These are scratches, by the way. This is how much I get hurt from Lucifer. Look, look at my hands. This cat is, like, very, very playful. Like, she's not aggressive. She doesn't want to hurt you. But the way she plays is, is it's very aggressive, basically. Tonight is, um, the today's the day of my flight. So tonight I'm going to be flying, um... We're gonna be Amy to me, my mom and Sal. We're gonna be going to the airport. I'm gonna be flying, they're not coming, but um, they're coming to send me off. And um, uh, we're gonna aim to get there at 8.30. I have quite a lot of things to check. I have a huge luggage to check and a lot of things for my carry-on. And I think I'll have to go through, I mean, you always go through security, right? So I've never flown within Canada, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you still have to go through security and get everything checked. So that's going to take a while considering how many sketchy looking cameras that I have. Um, and like, yeah, they want to check everything, make sure, you know, it's not an explosive. I'm going to try and get there a little bit earlier, have something to eat. And um, yeah, take my very strong anti-nausea, nausea, nausea, anti-puke medication. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be like drowsy the entire flight. I hate it. I like it. This is, I just don't like flying, you know? I'm not nervous. I love I love flying, like I love seeing everything. I just hate the process and the airport and the, the tiny little seats. And um, I hate taking uh, the anti-nausea medication because it's very strong and it makes me very sleepy. And I just wanna like, play on my switch i want to write in my diary i don't want to be like sleepy basically and um my my given that i don't really fall asleep on flights i'm just gonna be like a ball of stress when i land um oh also yesterday my mom and i we went to north vancouver and we were looking for luggages there's a really good luggage place that i always go to um it's in a place called capilano mall and it's like right next to the walmart in there and the luggage store always has some kind of deal like they always have a really good like buy one get one half off and they're like really really good luggages and also with luggages i kind of like there's a luggage that i've had my eyes on for years a carry-on just the carry-on is about 600 canadian dollars it hurts me to pay that much for something that i'm gonna not really use that much like i don't travel that much as you guys know and um most use I get out of my luggages are like dragging them to the forest to do photo shoots. So, and you know, the, the ground is like crappy on the streets and it, it just tends to ruin the wheel. So I don't, I just don't think it's worth like spending that much. It just looks really nice that the luggage that I want, it's a beautiful rose gold luggage, but yeah, I just don't feel good spending that much money on it. 
and I found something very similar to it, like um, from another really good brand. I didn't write it down, but another really, really, really good um, brand that has another heart case carry-on and a luggage set. Um, you buy them obviously separately. Uh, it's a rose gold heart heart case. Did I say that? I probably said that a billion times. It's heart case, <laughs> and um, I found it yesterday for like a hundred and thirty dollars. And then they had a deal where it's like buy one get one half off. So I could buy like um, the full size luggage, full price, and then buy the carry on half price. And then the woman was like, "Wait, hold on, don't buy it yet. Come tomorrow." She's like, "There, I'm eighty percent sure um, they're gonna do a buy one get one free tomorrow. So if you come tomorrow, um, I could possibly buy the big luggage full price and then just get the carry on for free, which is like so much better." Um, that'll give me some more money to spend on getting a shitty luggage, carry-on luggage to use for when I go to the forest because I just don't feel good using like a good luggage to drag it to the forest with me and then just ruin it after like 20 times. But luggage story aside, I'm... This is my makeup. This makeup is... Okay, this is so gross, but this makeup is going to be on my face from today. What time is it right now? Um, okay, well, my phone is... Hey, Google, what time is it? 12.58. Okay, so from about 1 p.m. today until about like 9 a.m. the next day, this is going to be on my face, which is really shitty, but hi. And I, I have a pimple too that I'm really trying hard to get rid of, but it's proving more difficult than I thought. I'm putting like spot treatments on it and <clears throat> it's killing me. And hopefully I can cover all of these Lucifer scratches for the video because yeah, we don't want that on there. But... Um, yeah, so this makeup is going to be on my face for 24 hours, so let's see how it lasts. Let's see how it does. Um, I forgot to put on setting spray. Wait, I should do that right now because we want this to last as long as possible, don't we now? The setting spray I like to use is the Urban Decay All Nighter. A very fitting word because this makeup is going to be on my face all night and then all day tomorrow until I remove it and do it again for the music video. So please last, please last all day. Okay, that was a little extra, but ooh. Okay, hi. So yeah, that's gonna be exciting. I'm excited, I'm gonna go see my mom. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to redo my nails as well. Um, I don't really like these, these are so long. Um, I'm gonna have to, and I kind of ruined one of them, but I'm gonna do them um, either pale or black. Um, yeah, I think black would be a lot more interesting or pale. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be one of those colors because I think it's a lot safer, um, for the music video to do just like either a neutral color or like black rather than just have like electric blue. doesn't match anything. I'm rambling. I haven't made a vlog in a long time. Let me ramble. But yeah, that's about it. Okay. Bye. Okay. So we got... Hi, mom. Hi, baby. <laughs> so we got the carry-on and the big luggage it's in here right now, but I'll show it better at home. Very excited. And we're gonna go home, grab something to eat. We can order something because it's too heavy yes, now. Yes. And uh, we don't have any time for it. Yes, and then we will, I'll update you. We're gonna start packing. Bye. Three hours later.